first at bat of the regular season already. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to swing the bat. No doubt about it. You told us he elevated the fastball a little bit. It was a little erratic. Is that what you saw as well? Yeah, I saw just inconsistent stuff, whether it was the fastball or the slider or the change-up. So um, it, was, uh, it was a battle out there for him today, throw 80-plus 80, 80 pitches, not, not get through the fourth. So through the pitches he needed to throw, Frankie's not a guy that you're going to lose any sleep over. So we'll give him the ball again see how he does. Like another grapefruit starter for him. Um, you guys just like to get one minor league start for those guys? We like to mix it up where one of their last two starts could be down the minor league, minor league side. Um, we're also trying to evaluate. We'll see where we go with it. I, I don't know what's – I think I do know what plans have been made tentatively. Everything's in ten, – we put everything in pencil first. And then we switch it to pen. I don't want anybody looking around my, my shoulders here because this is really stuff that not everybody gets. So he is scheduled to pitch on the 26th, so it's split squad. So it's going to be a great Fruit League game. Okay. Uh, related note with uh, Garrett Cole, he's going in the uh, minor league game on, on Wednesday. Are you guys uh, happy with um, what you've seen from him out there? We are. We are happy. We're happy. We're trying just to build on the momentum that he's created, um, continue to work on command of all his pitches. Uh, continue to put him in situations where he's repeating his delivery. Um, so, yeah, we're happy with the, the success he's, he's shown so far. Uh, with O'Flaherty going two today, I know Feliz went two down in Fort Myers. Do you try to get all your relievers up to two innings or just guys who might have to do that during the regular season? Absolutely all of them go through it, yeah. Melanson, Watson <laughs> threw in the, in the cage Saturday through the Meyer League game on Sunday. Uh, Melanson does it. All of them pitch back-to-back -back days. All of them try and get two innings. Um, at some point in time, whether it's a combination of one here, back-to-back -back days and a two-inning outing. So whether it's back-to-back -back days in a grapefruit league, whether it's one day here, one day down at Meyer League camp, sometimes the two innings happens up here. Sometimes for those guys, it'll happen down there. But we, get, we give them all the looks that we're going to ask them to do in the season, and a couple of the relievers already will be looking to get you know, a third inning from. Kim and Eric could be a guy that we're looking to get a third inning from sometime this spring. Rodon's not a guy we've talked about a lot, but he was able to get that extra up today. He finished that inning that seemed to go forever. He goes two and a third. Uh, what did you see from him out there? We've liked that. We've liked the man, and, and we know the history. And he's another guy with, with uh, stuff that gets your attention. And the command has been inconsistent at times, which has challenged him and has kind of kept him on the cusp. So we want to try and get that guy in a position where he's repeating his delivery, that downhill angle the fastball plays. The velocity is a plus, but to get some angle and some finish to it, mix in the breaking ball as well. Um, he's shown the durability we've asked him to do. Uh, he's pitched, uh, it was a two-inning outing his last time out, and he went two-plus this time. So we're seeing some good things from, from him as well. How have you guys gone about with, uh, with Bard, knowing when to throw him into one of these games so it's working into the minor league? Camp, is there a, a pattern to that or just going on the field and how he looks? It's been pitchability. We've kind of used him as he would be uh, as he would be used down there in the same type of rotation when he's available to pitch. Um, this is the first time that we've seen, you know, some inconsistency from him. It's just like anybody else in spring training. Whether it was release point today, I'm, we'll look at some tape, try and get a feel for it. But, you know, the velocity, this guy's taking major steps forward. So today is one of those days that you – I, I don't think you overcook it for him. You just kind of reassure him. You look at some tape, reassure him, and tell him to keep pitching because he's made some nice adjustments and some nice improvements to this, this point in time.